mission. Your so-called master. Where is he? Malice is everywhere and nowhere, refracted in every moment of time. He is dead. He is risen. And he will come again. Right, well, that's very cryptic, but I demand to speak to him. Oh. Oh, very well. to speak to your puppet. I think it's about time you and I met face to face. <laughs> you would not look upon my true form and live while you are hopelessly mortal. I am my god. What is good YouTube, what's you here with a video on Legends Tomorrow Season 3. So Legends Tomorrow is back on Monday night with episode 10 called Daddy Darkest and obviously Supergirl is going to be off for 9 weeks because of this. So Legends Tomorrow is going to be running instead. So the up and coming episode is episode 10 called Daddy Darkest which looks pretty insane. The second half of the season has Malice. Who is Malice? The mystery behind the whole Malice perception character is the only mystery we have in the current Arrowverse at the moment. Kid Flash is coming to Legends. John Constantine is coming back briefly. And Grid of Grodd is also going to be part of this back half of the season. So how could it fail? So let's divulge into who is Malice. During episode 5 in the clip I played before this video started, Dark's daughter, Nora I think she's called, said in a conversation to Rip Hunter, while you are a hopeless mortal, I am a god. Where is your so-called master? Where is he? Said Rip Hunter. Malice is everywhere and nowhere, refracted in a moment of time. He is dead, he rises, and he will come again, which is very interesting. So this sounds a lot to me like Savitar when he said, while you are a hopeless mortal, I am a god. Savitar kept saying over and over again during the Flash season three that he was the god. He is a god. Malice is everywhere, yet nowhere, refracted in every moment of time and what was Savitar trying to do with Killer Frost? Savitar was trying to splice himself into every moment of time. Parallel here is too apparent. It's too apparent. Could it really be Savitar? So Malus talks through Dark's daughter just like Savitar spoke through Julian Albert who played Dr. Alchemy um, during the clips at the start of the video I would play this so I know what you guys are thinking Savitar can't be Malice because Savitar is dead we get onto that so in the trailer DC Legends Tomorrow season 3 a war is coming trailer Rip says a war is coming in the latest trailer now could this actually be the war that Rip Hunter was referring to in the 2056 message that he sent to Barry Allen I don't know guys so a war is coming Rip Hunter sent to Barry Allen so is this confirming that Malice is actually future Flash Savitar I know what you guys are going to say in clickbait but realistically let's think of it all the clues suggest to it could be Savitar or could it be someone else Vandal Savage I don't know guys let me know so in the latest episode which is episode 9 which hasn't actually been on for months as you know because there's been a break Malice, Malice said to Sarah Lance aka White Canary soon I'll be free he's coming for our world he's going to bring the pain now it's pretty bold to say Malice is Savitar but the strongest clue to suggest who Malice could actually be, in my opinion, it would be Savitar. Because realistically, when Savitar was getting spliced before it all got stopped, 
We don't know how much actually happened. It could be an alter timeline. This is a kind of program based on futuristic time travel, kind of back to the future Star Wars. It's just a kind of crazy show. So it's not far fetched to say that Malice could actually be Savitar. So in a recent interview with Entertainment Weekly, Mark Guggenheim revealed that while the audiences will eventually get to see Malice in the flesh, the reveal is going to come a little further down the line. However, even when Malice is completely revealed, the mystery Dark Force will only appear in its CGI, which is going to be a groundbreaking breaking move for the CW series. You won't see him in the flesh immediately, Guggenheim said. We're saving it towards the end of the year, which sounds pretty insane. He will be a full CG character. The design of him is really cool. We are really pushing the envelope in terms of what we can do with the visual effects on the show, which is pretty cool. But I presume the reason why you're not going to see him until towards the end of the season is it's going to be very expensive for the scene. Um, he went, to, went on to say that I idea that Malice will be entirely computer generated in a sense opens up the possibilities for who the mystery villain will be really is. Fans have been speculating that Malice could be anyone from Zari to Captain Cold, Lennon Snart, largely because while we've heard the voice of this Serbian villain, we haven't had a body to base any guesses off. However, now that it sounds likely that Malice really could be anyone, theories are likely to go into hyperdrive, hence why I'm making this video. If Guggenheim has previously said that Many flat out are wrong. He recently told comicbook.com, well, it's possible someone has figured it out of the villain's real identity. Most are way off, but they said that with the whole the, the whole Savitar thing. I know Mark Guggenheim is more Arrow, but Savitar, when An Andrew Kreisberg, etc., Greg Blanty, all said that you're miles off. You know, I would say the vast majority of them tend to be really wrong, Guggenheim explained. Really, really wrong. You know, that said, sometimes someone gets it right you know if you know enough people out there trying to theorize they're going to be someone who gets it right which is very interesting while Malas, Malas's identity cool CG appearance will remain a mystery for a little bit further what fans do have to look forward to in the short term is the return of Constantine played by Matt Ryan in the Arrowverse the character will hop on board the Wave Rider, Wave Rider in the up and coming premiere of season mid-season mid premiere speaking Seeking help from Sarah, seems that Constantine is trying to help a client who has possessed by a demon, a demon that just so happened to know Sarah's name, leading Constantine to join up with the Legends on a mission that will see the whole team end up in a psychiatric hospital. Sounds like an adventure to us. So this sounds pretty cool, guys. I'm so stoked for Legends tomorrow to return tomorrow night. Is Malice Savitar now? I know everyone's going to attack me in the comment section, but realistically, guys, it is the strongest theory out there. I've, I've literally re watched every Malice clip from episode 5, episode 9, all the kind of Damien Dark scenes and I do think that Malice could be a version of the future Flash but I don't know guys it might not be it could be absolutely anyone guys so please like subscribe and comment let me know who is Malice are you excited for John Constantine to come back are you excited to see Grid of Grodd because whilst the Olympics on guys this is the only show we're going to have until the end of March so we might as well always get on the hype train of who is Malice I expect you all to make your own theories put your theories down below post them down below guys I love reading other people's theories anyway guys this is just a theory nothing's been confirmed but it is cool that Guggenheim said it's a computer elite cgi character special effects could be on point now we know who's voicing the character but that doesn't mean that's going to actually be like the body for it the same whole thing with the savitar thing anyway guys please like subscribe and comment it would be awesome would appreciate it we've just hit 8,000 subscribers which is awesome guys much appreciated anyway hit the bell button down below to join team war stew and i will catch you guys in the comment section very soon catch you in another video guys very soon catch you later